So I saw my mom recently and she commented, oh, you found someone to cut your hair. And I, of course, being very proud but still trying to play it cool, was like, oh, you know, I actually, uh cut it myself. She was like, how did you do the back? And I was like, oh, you know, with a mirror. As if I had not struggled intensely. The only reason I ended up cutting my hair because I was A, too anxious to walk into a hair cutting place, and B, too anxious to correct somebody else on a thing. I have a friend who likes to dye their hair every once in a while, and I was going to go see them, and so I said, hey, we should get our hair dyed together. I was thinking of getting mine maroon, hoping that it would be less awkward to go and get my hair like cut and dyed somewhere else with a person whom I knew. And they were like, yeah, that's that's awesome, like, bring over a box of dye. And I was like, oh, my plan has been foiled. They want to do it by ourselves? What is happening? But then I got struck with a genius idea. If I could dye my hair by myself, then why couldn't I cut my hair by myself? So I looked up a YouTube tutorial. It seemed not too bad. And so I went to Meyer, got some clippers, and cut my own hair. I just kept laughing because I was struck with, like, I am an adult. I can do whatever I- I could shave my head right now. No one would stop me. Nobody did stop me. The only thing that kept me from doing it myself is the same thing that keeps me from like wearing men's pants or using a specific word for poop in daily conversation. It was my own expectations of what I was allowed to do. I acknowledge that social norms exist for a reason, but most of the time the reason is totally arbitrary and not very good. Like why did I think that I needed to go somewhere to do a thing? I don't know, man. Women, if you can do this without experiencing dysphoria, I highly suggest that you buy like men's stuff. One, it's cheaper for reasons we won't go into today, but like deodorant, razors, shampoo, lotion. For most non-scented things, the actual product is the same. And if for scented things, like people, men's stuff smells so good. You too can smell like that. Nothing is stopping you. Like this may be TMI, but I wear Old Spice deodorant all the time and I smell amazing. Things that you expect that you have to go out and buy yourself, you don't always have to go out and buy yourself. Like this year, I've gotten into the habit of just Googling things to find out if I can make them and most of the time I can't. I tried hummus once and it was amazing so I just like bought some chickpeas and tried to figure it out myself and it's pretty good. And then pho that like Vietnamese soup thing that's friggin delicious. I can just make that with a crock pot like I had no idea. And pickles you can just make by like vinegar and some spices into a jar sticking some cucumbers in it and then letting it sit. You don't have to buy popsicles you can just get like some juice and a mold thing pour the juice in the mold stick the mold in the freezer and then you've got popsicles. Last week I found out that you can make strawberry jam with like strawberries, lemon juice, and sugar. And it's really good. After I got a hot glue gun, I stopped throwing away stuff that I could just like stick back together and not have to buy new versions of. This attitude like started to sink in a little bit and the things that I had previously assumed I couldn't do myself, it turned out I actually totally could. Like I just assumed I would have to go to like a car place and pay them to figure out how to put an aux cord in my car so I could listen to music and podcasts and stuff. But it turns out that you can get one of those things for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Look up a YouTube tutorial and do it. I didn't like the way my Tumblr looked, so I saved the theme that I had, just like went in and changed some stuff in the HTML, and it turns out it's super easy and very Googleable. Heck, even this YouTube thing, I've never gotten a fancy thing. I've downloaded completely free programs and looked up tutorials and figured stuff out myself, and it feels really empowering. Like, I feel really cool. These are pretty minor things to have accomplished. Like, I am not putting makes own jam on my resume, but it's still, it feels good. And I think all of that sort of came together as I just chopped off my own hair and turned it purple. Sometimes it fails, and it's not to say that you don't have to. Like, sometimes it's fun, like getting your nails done, or sometimes it's necessary via time constraints, money constraints, or simply lack of skill. But I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Consider the assumptions that make that cause you to spend money on the things you spend money on, and consider whether that has to be the case. Oh, and I hear men's pants have really deep pockets. Until next time, peace. Thank mm-hmm. you.